Jessica Ramos. I'm the Director of Community Engagement at Advance Illinois. Our project uh, with Sea Common Ground was actually to do a series of focus groups across the state to better understand the impacts of the pandemic on Illinois communities and families, students, uh, as well as their perspectives around assessments uh, and extending learning time to make up and really just understand the impacts of the pandemic on students and learning loss. Priorities span all the way from early childhood care and funding in that area uh, to in K-12. We are doing a lot of work around uh, learning recovery, uh, equitable K-12 funding, and um, around advancing equity in the educator pipeline and access to the profession as well. That at the beginning we were thinking, you know, we need assessments, end of year assessments to inform how we make decisions in the years to come. So we need some type of information and we also need to better understand the social emotional well-being of students in ways that we previously may not have been collecting information. What are the rates of trauma? How are we supporting students? How are we uh, ensuring targeted supports? And with that, you know, we, we are getting better about connecting what we're hearing from communities to inform how we talk about assessments. We have, we've gotten a better understanding of really why we need to collect student information on their academics as well as their social emotional well-being to inform A, targeted supports and B, our advocacy for K-12 funding. Across focus groups, both with parents and even with students, we heard that access to childcare was a major issue. And it connected directly to our work in early childhood um, and our, you know, our advocacy in that area to make sure that families, especially families that come from low-income backgrounds and families of communities of color, you know, that they have access to those opportunities in order to be able to go to work, right? In order to support their students' learnings. And additionally, in the area of K-12, that parents had mixed opinions about summative assessments at the end of the year. And so the reason for that was because we wanted to make sure that if assessments are conducted in any way, they have to be done in a safe way. And, you know, the information has to be useful and used to inform decisions in the future. And that significantly changed how we were messaging our advocacy around assessment. Uh, we also, you know, had opportunities to elevate the perspectives of parents at the state level because of our focus groups. The other one is that it, you know, it changed how we are messaging around supports to students. So that means that in our advocacy, we are making sure that we are talking about, you know, we need additional funds to support academic supports that, you know, are going to be needed both now and in the long run. At Advanced Illinois, we believe that we, we need that information. We need information to understand the impacts of the pandemic, how and to what extent it has impacted our Black and Latinx students and our students of low-income background. I think that in that same vein, we're sticking true to making sure that we are advocating to waive accountability because of you know, the varying degrees of access to uh, remote learning, access to academic supports. You know, the closer that we get to that testing window, it is becoming more challenging and we are, we are having more conversations about what how do we get creative about you know, collecting this data potentially in the fall of next year or during a time where students can safely go to school? It, time is always an issue, right? We never, we never had enough time. And I think at the same time, we also don't wanna to spend too much time on things. And so I, I continue to wonder, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do was have some more one-on-ones with people um, to learn more about their work and, and find common ways to, to, you know, to, to brainstorm around other issues that we're working on. You know, I think first of all, the funding that made it possible allowed us to do something that we had never done at the organization before. And that was, you know, to host focus groups across the state in a remote setting. And even with that in mind, you know, we, we went above and beyond and we engaged over a hundred students and parents and caregivers uh, when folks thought that, you know, that was a wild idea that was going to be really challenging during, 
you know, during a pandemic and we made that happen and, and building relationships, right? I think that was incredibly helpful. Those opportunities to brainstorm once a month, some dedicated time to talk to other people that had, um, you know, either some wins or some challenges and really working through that. You know, and I will always give give shout outs to Dia at, at Education Trust and, and her thoughtful uh, ways of framing the work around assessments and also just the work we do to advance racial equity for our students. I, I think every time I walked out of one of those convenings, I walked out feeling like I learned something and I really appreciated that.